Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you meal prep for Bon Mi Turkey Meatball Rice Bowls. That is a mouthful. These are so delicious. They came out to only seven smart points on my WW Green. I was totally inspired by Skinny Taste. I had recently got her meal prep cookbook. It is such a great one, so I kind of tweaked some things to make this a little more point friendly being on green. So as you can see, I'm chopping up some scallions. I'm going to be separating the white and the green part. The first thing I actually did, which I forgot to film because I had done it like a few hours before, was pickle my vegetables. So just quickly, I'll put it right here on the screen. Um, I did a cup of shredded carrots, two radishes cut into like really skinny pieces, or you can do them into matchsticks, six tablespoons of distilled white vinegar, three tablespoons of stevia. Um, I didn't want to have to count points for sugar, so I actually did monk fruit sweetener instead. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt, and then I just mixed everything together, put it in a bowl, wrapped it up, and that sat in my fridge for a few hours so that those vegetables could pickle. I'm chopping up my scallion for the meatballs. I'm using a total of three scallions, and the white part is going into a large bowl for the meatballs. And then to that, I'm going to be adding in one pound of 99% fat-free extra lean ground turkey, about a tablespoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of ginger. I had the frozen ones that come in these little cubes from Trader Joe's and they're a teaspoon each, so I just popped one of those in there. Two tablespoons of Kokomin's reduced sodium soy sauce, a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs. I used the ones by Kokomin that are whole wheat just because I had those ones on hand. And then I'm also doing a quarter cup of egg beaters for zero points. If you did a regular egg, it would add like two points to the recipe, so you would have to adjust that. But it does equal out to be one egg. And then I'm just going to put some gloves on, mix this all around. And then to form the meatballs, I'm actually going to be using a cookie scooper, which is a tablespoon and a half. So that helped me evenly distribute them so they're all the same size. And my recipe came out to 20 meatballs. That way, each four meal prep containers had a total of five meatballs. Once you have all of your meatballs formed and ready to go, these are going to go in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes until they are fully cooked through. I did preheat the oven when I started chopping up my scallions. That way, when I was done forming them, I could just pop them in there. When the meatballs were almost done cooking, I started on my sauce, so about five minutes in, I would say I started this. So for the sauce, I am using two and a half tablespoons of reduced sodium soy sauce. It's that same Kokomin one. And then I'll be adding in one and a half tablespoons of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of hoisin sauce, a half a tablespoon of brown sugar, and I use Splenda's brown sugar, one teaspoon of sesame oil, one teaspoon of ginger, and it's that same Trader Joe's frozen one, and then about a teaspoon-ish of garlic or so. I always just eyeball garlic if it's too much. I really like garlic, so I don't mind it. This is going to go over the stove on medium heat until it kind of thickens up, and then right when the meatballs are done, I'm going to be adding all of those to the sauce. Once I have the meatballs in the sauce, I am going to cook that until the sauce has begun to thicken just a bit. So the meatballs are done. I'm going to start on shredding my cabbage now. This is a giant head of red cabbage. You're going to need about a cup of this for the meal prep containers. You can add as much or as little as you like. Veggies are zero points. And I wanted to show you guys the middle of this because I just thought it was so pretty. So I'm going to be shredding this up. I'm going to be adding the red cabbage to one side of my meal prep container.
Now I'm going to be measuring out my rice. This is jasmine rice that I cooked up. It is a full cup of dry jasmine rice with a cup and a half of water. Rices are different though, so um, definitely read the back of your packaging and go with whatever that says. I also added some chicken bouillon to my water when that was cooking just to add a bit more flavor. The particular rice that I'm using doesn't come up in the app, so I just go with the cooked jasmine rice when you type that in the WW app, and that comes up to three points for a half of a cup, which is what I'm going to be doing for each serving. I'm going to be adding in my meatballs now. They have cooled off quite a bit, so each meal prep container will be getting five of these. And these are totally fine next to the rice or the cabbage. Cabbage holds up really well, and so does the rice. Now we're going to be adding the pickled vegetables. Here I just strain them out of that liquid and I'll be adding that right to the side of the meatballs. I don't measure this portion out. I just kind of eyeballed it into four equal portions. Now I'm gonna be chopping up a jalapeno. Um, I definitely should have had gloves on for this. I ended up like rubbing my eye later on and totally burnt it. This was such a rookie mistake. So I'm just gonna be slicing this and then taking the seeds out and then adding that to my meal prep containers. Lastly, I'm going to be adding some cilantro to the tops of these. I also added some white sesame seeds to the tops of the meatballs. When I go to reheat these, I just reheated the rice and the meatballs, and then I added the veggies and everything after that. These came out to seven points on my WW Green, and I did just wanna quickly say that um, the points will be different if you use different brands for certain things, just like if you use coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. Um, everything has a different point value. Same thing goes for chicken breast. Kirkland chicken breast is really low in points um, compared to like foster farms or something. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, but that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time.